project about the kudzu. I picked the kudzu because it's a plant, and animals and plants have always been an interest because of how humans can directly um, use them as resources and how we control how we use them. This shows how the kudzu can easily overtake an environment and how hard it would be to control. Uh, it is not in Missouri, uh, northern Missouri, and species like the honeysuckle are in Missouri, so we can learn from the kudzu in the honeysuckle. Um, the global spectrum, it would be in southeastern U.S. and India. It was brought over um, from Japan in 1876 in a expedition in, Phil in Philadelphia. Uh, that's a point source. There are non -po no non-point sources uh, because that's the only time recorded that it was brought over. Uh, it's a causal effect because the kudzu has taken over farmlands and it's very hard to control its growth. Uh, normal, like a good effect, would maybe be um, that cows and sheep eat it. This is an exponential growth graph uh, with a J-curve, and this slide shows what it means. Um, 10,000 hectares are grown per year, and it's up to 3 million hectares today, and can grow up to 60 feet per season in each direction on a farm. It is having a negative impact on our plant diversity because of how it is taking over for other crops. And this is because of its low nitrogen and drought um, ability to survive those, and that can outdo the competition. As of animal diversity, um, it's helping because grazing animals such as sheep and cattle really like to eat it. It is edible. Uh, to humans, but we do, it hasn't grown into popular um, as a food source, and it was originally used for uh, soil erosion and crop rotation for the nutrients of the soil. Because it is a plant, it um, goes through photosynthesis and cellular respiration, um, making it a big player in the carbon cycle, and in the nitrogen cycle, it will take nitrogen from nitrogen-fixing bacteria and put it back into the soil when it dies. Um, herbicides, uh, prescribed burning, and digging are just some of the things used um, to stop growing. Also, freezing, and the reason that these are not very effective other than herbicide is because of how deep the roots go. Um, burning and freezing do not go deep enough to um, take it all the way out. Herbicides will kill it, but you also have to dig out the roots afterwards, as you can see. Uh, I think the best solution is herbicide. The only thing that really works is herbicide, and it doesn't hurt the environment as much as burning and freezing. Um, the, communi would, the community would also help dig. Uh, the bad things about herbicide would be with the animals and us. It causes pollution and can cause irritation with skin. Uh, pros would be more food because the crops that we do use like uh, beans and things like that would be able to grow down there where the kudzu isn't anymore. Um, the herbicide has ne that much herbicide has never been used before, and so we would not know the um, cost amount and how much it would cost in other ways, such as the pollution. It might make another job once we finish this one. As a community, we need to get involved. If we had kudzu, by taking care of it, we uh, can see, like the honeysuckle, it needs to be dealt with as a young sprout because it uh, grows and its roots do too. Um, the more, the older it gets, roots have been found to go uh, like 20 feet deep, 30 feet deep, and um, that's just too hard. Like the burning and freezing won't do anything, and so uh, digging with herbicide is the only option. Uh, this is my citation page. Thank you for watching.